and sometimes I get it right. This time, guys, we got it right. This Dollar Tree worked this time. Hey, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I'm Tanya, and today we are in my messy closet. Since I'm home, I decided what a great time to just do a little clean with me. This is a newer closet. Um, I've moved since my last master closet video and I really didn't have any systems in place. So today I'm going to take everything out and clean it up. So let's jump into this video and if you like it, give a thumbs up, subscribe and do all the things and let's get started. empty closet that took a little while y'all I'm I may have bit off a little more than I was wanting to chew today but uh, I'm excited empty spaces are inspo aren't they I mean it's like all the possibilities are here um, so what I typically do some of the questions that I get about how I come up with different creative ways to use a space is I really just sort of sit and look and think about how it is that I'm going to utilize a particular space. So that's what I'll be doing right here with my little notepad and I'll probably spend about 10 minutes in here coming up with, I don't know, for me to be able to think of what I need to do in here, it is very overwhelming. That crap that is in my bedroom, which I will pan to, oh y'all, it's too much, too much. I'm going to get rid of a ton of stuff and I also am going to DIY some stuff or something to make myself push forward and keep myself enthusiastic about this project. So, come on in. Three days later. Okay, I'm done y'all. This was so much more of a project than what I was really thinking I was taking on, but I'm so glad that I did it. Mostly purging. I purged, purged, purged. I really, as I started to put things back in my closet, I was uninterested. I just, I loved it being where, where there was space. I, I loved it. I loved it. So anyway, I'm giving away a ton of things and threw away a bunch of stuff that uh, needed to be thrown away. And so days later, we're done. Let's go take a look. I am so thrilled with how this turned out. I mean, I feel very luxurious, y'all. It is such an amazing difference. But I really took the time to try and figure out what was going on in my space and what I needed it for. And the more that I took out, like I said, the more that I did not want to bring back in. So I decided to really do this whole minimalism thing. And I just love it. I think I can keep up with this and keep it just like it is. So we are going to start over here with the shelves and I will take you on a little tour. Okay, at the very top, I decided to use accessories that I have as my decor, right, for the room. So I took a few hats and I hung them just on a regular little garment hook and placed them at the very top. So I have two rectangles and then I have one that's sort of an oval shape. And this has just some belts in it. And then the other two just have, I have some gloves and just some tags that I wanted to hang on to and save. I figured this will be just sort of a little catch-all. So I have three of those across the top. And then I have this little printable that I did just because I wanted a little artwork in here. And then, yes, y'all, a fake plant up in my closet. I've never had a fake plant in my closet. I'm so excited about the whole thing. 
So then I decided I'm going to have a sweater row. I could have done shoes all the way down or something like that, but I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to sort of break it up and make it look a little bit more boutique-y. So I took just my sweaters that I actually will wear. I before had 25 sweaters probably. I'm not kidding. So this is what I'm left with and I probably will even edit down from there. So I went according to color order and went across. So adorable. Okay, on this shelf, I have my little DIY mirrors. There are five of them from Dollar Tree and I place them on with Velcro. It looks so good. I'm so excited about it. This right here is a little everlasting rose DIY that I did with Dollar Tree as well. So all of the little DIYs that I did, I have in a separate video. I will link it that way. It wouldn't make this video so, so long to include all the DIYs in the same video. Okay, then next I have some of these candy dishes and things that are over by the party goods in Dollar Tree. And I have belts in them. I have some cell phone covers, that type of thing. But also, y'all, these nails... Y'all just ignore the nails, okay? But it looks like this. It looks really lovely. Again, I really don't wear belts that much, but it looks good. This is a great little hack that really does work. This is the lid holders from Dollar Tree. And I just put some of my little skinny flip-flops and things in here. And it, it really does keep them nice. So the ones that I use the most, and then the, the really pretty one here that has all the little blingy bling, I put right here to the front. It's so cute. Then on the next two rows, I have all of my shoes, and I try to put them into category and color. And so that way, um, again, I threw away a ton. And then on the floor, and I'll show you a little bit better this, I have a bucket over here that is... Just got some flippity flops in it that I've had or house shoes. That kind of thing is what I keep in there. And then some of my taller boots and then athletic shoes and stuff like that. Then up under here, I put a couple of baskets. I, I'm not sure if these came from Dollar Tree. I know they've had them at Dollar Tree. Um, these these might have come from Walmart. But again, there would still only be a couple bucks, a buck or two. And actually, even Target Spot sometimes will have it. And I put my house shoes in here. They are just hung with a couple of cup hooks. This is a great way for me to utilize this little back wall here without cluttering it up too much. Okay, across the back wall, up at the very top, I have just some of those Dollar Tree bins that we've now seen everywhere. They come in a variety of colors. I chose white this time and I labeled it. All of my different little swimsuits, kimono cover-ups, and winter stuff that I, these are all stuff, this is all stuff I'm not going to need to get to. And then across here, these are all of my short sleeve shirts and or white shirts. I tried to put them all in color coordinated order. Across the bottom here, I have long sleeve shirts and then also my strapless, which I keep on the hanger with more of a traditional pant hanger. But that is all of the tops that I have except for my sweaters right there. I got rid of so much stuff. Okay, across the top is where I decided to put all of my purses. Now, here's, here's the news. There is no good storage for high-end or bags that you're trying to protect, okay? There are beautiful closets all over the internet with their beautiful bags on display. And unless it's behind glass, they're going to get all dusted up too. So I always am struggling. Do I want it aesthetically pleasing or do I want practical storage? So I'm trying to do both here. I'm trying to do both. Um, these are bags, the three right here, that I use all the time and I'm in and out of all the time. I'm not going to put these with any kind of dust bags and stuff. They're not really nice enough for that. So 
they will stay just like they are. And I can just, you know, grab it and go. Okay, so my solution for some of my nicer bags or vintage bags was to put them into this kind of setup. So what it is, is a tote bag that is the plastic kind from Dollar Tree. There, my handbag is inside there with a dust bag. It sits on one of the upside down pot holders, the pot lid holders that I have taken and that's what I was zip tying to each other. Okay, so this is literally the best solution I have seen that is legit real storage for your nicer handbags. Um, I got several more of these that are the same print. That way I can add to it and take away from it. I would even probably take the handle off. I'd probably cut that and make it just look a little bit nicer. Because of the kind of plastic and everything that it is, it really just made sense for me to write it with a Sharpie of the kind of bag that it actually was. So if you do not have a dust bag for each one of your handbags, a good solution for that is Dollar Tree has these satin pillowcases that are pretty good. Um, I have a few of them because I don't have all of the original dust bags, right? And so here it is. It looks really nice and it really does help protect. So that's awesome. Okay, and then right below my handbags is all of the pants I own except for a few pairs of leggings and um, below this would be a great place to actually have something else but I really don't have anything else to put there so I'm just gonna leave it open space how's that um, and can we just talk about how much camo and leopard print is in my wardrobe still too much okay so along this wall just for again aesthetics and for it to look kind of like art right um, I put a Dollar Tree picture frame with some wire and put some of my favorite earrings that I don't actually use, but you know, just to have up there. Again, I have a separate video on how I actually made all of these DIYs all from Dollar Tree, but right below that I have a little message center that I just have some really fun little photos of my son's recent wedding, a Bible verse, my new puppy. And these little things are adorable. They are magnetic. They are over in the school supplies and some of the stores or also the craft supplies. But it has a little hook, although I probably wouldn't actually hang anything on it. And it has a little magnet, perfect for this little business right here. So cute. Okay. One of the last things that I did was I added this little fur rug. This is from Joann's. I think it was about a yard and a half of fabric. It was super cheap, way better alternative than going and buying a big rug. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and all the stuff. If you like content like this, please leave a comment below and let me know. I love to organize. It is my number one place of joy is to have an organized space. I fail quite a bit and sometimes I get it right. This time, guys, we got it right. This Dollar Tree worked this time. Also, if you're new here and you did not see the other video that I had of my last master closet that I had to use every bit of space if that's your situation, I have been there. I know exactly what it's like. I had a craft closet, my office, and a master closet all in the same thing. I will link that below. So this space was able to be minimal because I also have an additional closet that I keep kind of my beauty items and my cosmetics and things like that. So as soon as I get to filming, I'm going to film that for you guys because that is one of my very favorite spaces to be in. Now this, maybe, I don't know. It's been awesome. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching.